Welcome back to another Pico Gym Workout Challenge Write-Up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the reverse engineering challenge, Crack Me Dash PY. Let's get into it. So just like, what was it? Kijin Me Dash PY? They just give us a crackme.py file to look at in the description, no context. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And if we scroll down to where the main execution is, we see choose greatest. And then we see choose greatest, user value one, what's your first number, user value two, what's your second number, greatest value equals user value one. Okay, okay, okay. See our greatest value. But then they also call it the code secret up here, which doesn't look like it has anything to do with what's down here. And what that's doing is decoding or encoding, according to this note, something. And it's probably this Bezos secret up here because that looks like an encoded whatever. And in the comments even say, hiding this really important number in an obscure piece of code is brilliant and it's encrypted. So yeah, I think we just need to decode this. And the comments say ROT47 decode. So maybe we just need to perform a ROT47 decryption on this code. So there's really no need for us to even write any extra code here. We could literally just use CyberChef to decode it. Now, before I do that, I want to point something out. Comments are, you know, essential if you want to know or you want other people to be able to look at your code and know what it's doing, be it whether they lack the experience to be able to read the code themselves and understand it themselves or other people are having to modify it. And so they need to know what does what so they can pick up where you left off. You know, there's plenty of reasons why comments are helpful, but comments are kind of a double edged sword because to a hacker and let's just say a script kitty who doesn't usually know how to code, they just know how to run scripts. They could easily look at this and say, oh, well, all I need to do is do a ROT47 decryption on this secret code right here because the comments say that's what this function does. In fact, the function is even called decode secret. The comments give out way more information than is necessary here because essentially any hacker could look at this and understand right off the bat what this is doing without even having to look at the code, okay? Because anybody's gonna look at this, even script kitties, and be like, oh, that's a secret code, and then they're immediately gonna see rot 47 d code, and then they're just gonna decode it. So just be careful with what you put in your comments because if the source code you're using has highly volatile or is being placed in an extremely risky location that could be hacked, then you want to minimize the information that you put in it and maybe obfuscate the variable names and stuff like that. So that would further make it difficult for the hacker to understand what's going on inside the code. So again, just be careful with your comments. So all we're going to do with this is literally rot 47 decode it on CyberChef. And there's our flag. I'm a peanut. I think that's what that says. Paste that in, submit. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.